everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to make arancini balls. My husband's Italian and he loves arancini balls. And I decided that I'm gonna be making these today and I'm gonna to share the recipe with you. Now, if you don't know what arancini balls, it's a rice ball stuffed with some meat and uh, some uh, mozzarella cheese. Uh, you can add peas to it as well. Or you can just have them with mozzarella cheese inside. And then they're rolled in breadcrumbs and deep fried. So they're crispy on the outside, soft and tasty on the inside. And I hope you stay with me today to watch how to make my recipe for arancini balls step by step. Now the first step in making the arancini balls is of course you need to boil the rice. And I'm placing four and a half cups of water in a medium sized saucepan. And once my water comes to a boil, I add one teaspoon of salt for seasoning and it can always add a little bit more salt later on when you're tasting the rice. And next I'm going to add two cups of short grain Italian rice. And I'm just going to stir to combine and wait until the rice is cooked. Okay, my rice is completely cooked. I'm just going to check for seasoning, see if I need a little bit more salt. And let's try it. Mm, perfect. Now what you want to do is you want to let your rice completely cool. And what you can also do is place it in a bowl, refrigerate it, and let it cool so it's easier to roll up the arancini rice balls. Now while I wait for the rice to cool, I'm going to move on to the next step in preparing the filling. And I'm starting off by placing two to three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. I'm just going to turn on the stove, let the olive oil heat up before I add the next ingredient. The olive oil is nice and hot. I'm going to add one large onion and I've just diced the onion into small pieces. Next I'm adding in one clove of garlic. Now I just want the onions and garlic to soften, I don't want it to brown, so I'm going to add the meat. And I have here half a pound of ground beef. Place that right in there. Now I wanna mix the meat in with the onions, the garlic, olive oil, so the meat can absorb the flavor. For seasoning, I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of ground black pepper. Now I want my ground beef to cook. I'm gonna stir it together for about five minutes or so until the meat is completely browned. And then I'm gonna show you the next step. Next I'm adding about a cup and a half of homemade tomato sauce. If you don't have homemade tomato sauce, you can buy it canned or jarred and just add the tomato sauce into the mixture. Now I'm just going to stir it to combine the tomato sauce with the ground beef and I'm just going to let it cook for another two minutes. The ground beef is cooked, the tomato sauce is absorbed into the ground beef and now I'm simply going to remove the clove of garlic. I don't want the actual clove in my arancini balls. I added the garlic clove just to give it some flavor along with the onions, but once I'm done with it, I just remove it from the ground beef. And next I'm adding one cup of frozen peas. And then you could just run them through wa water before you add them, rinse them out, and then add them in. That way they don't get soggy when you're mixing all the meat together with the sauce. Once I add the peas, I'm gonna stir together the meat with the peas and let it cook for one more minute. Now, very important to taste your food as you're cooking it. So I'm just gonna do a taste test, see if it needs a little more seasoning. Okay, it can definitely use a little more salt. So I'm just gonna add about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna mix that together. The ground beef mixture is ready. I'm turning off the stove and I'm gonna let the meat mixture cool and move on to the next step. Now for the next step. My rice is cooled, I removed it from the refrigerator. It's nice and firm and it's gonna be easier to form the arancini balls. I normally use one egg, but I don't have large eggs, so I'm going to use two small eggs. Before I add my eggs to the 
rice. I'm going to beat the eggs and then pour it into the rice mixture and mix it together. Now the rice has really firmed up in the refrigerator and that's what you want. I'm just going to make a little well in the middle and then add my eggs just like that. And just using a wooden spoon, I'm just going to stir the eggs into the rice and make sure it's well combined. Now for the next step, I have the rice and egg mixture well combined. The last ingredient, I'm adding a third cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese, freshly grated. Just pour it into the mixture and all there's left to do is to stir it in. Make sure it's well combined. Now that I have the eggs and Parmesan cheese well combined into the rice mixture, I'm ready to form the arancini balls. Now to form the arancini balls, I have the meat, the rice, I have three cups of plain breadcrumbs that I'll be using. I have here fresh mozzarella cheese cubed. I have about 125 grams of fresh mozzarella and I've also cubed it as you can see here. And here I have about a third a cup of fresh Parmigiano Reggiano and it's grated. I have three eggs. I have a baking tray with parchment paper and I also have a bowl with water and the water is just lukewarm water. I'm going to be using that to roll the arancini balls. So let's start off by placing third a cup of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese right into the breadcrumbs. Now I'm just going to stir the Parmesan cheese into the breadcrumbs and we're going to be using this to roll the arancini balls. And now what I'm going to do is just mix together the eggs because we're going to roll the arancini balls once they're formed into the egg mixture. Oh, and I forgot to mention I have a piece of parchment paper on the counter because this process will make a huge mess. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing some water on the palm of my hand and then taking the ball of rice and you can make these arancini balls as big or as small as you like them. I'm gonna make them pretty big. And what I'm doing here is flattening the rice on the palm of my hand and I'm placing a little indentation in the center so that way there's room to place the meat and some mozzarella cheese. So there's a little indent. I'm going to give you a close up so you can see. And now I'm ready to place the filling and that is going to be about a tablespoon of the meat and the peas um, right into the center. And next I'm going to add some fresh mozzarella cheese. I'm just going to add two cubes. You can add one. I just like to add more cheese. And now that I have the filling, I'm going to take another piece of the rice. Of course, don't forget to place the water in your hands so that way the rice doesn't stick. So I'm going to flatten another piece of rice um, and then just seal the top of the arancini ball just like that. And now using my two hands, I'm just shaping it into a nice round ball, just like this. Now once you have your rice ball formed, place it onto the parchment paper and move on to the next one. Now for the next arancini ball, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it a little smaller and I'm just going to add the mozzarella cheese. Now I'm going to continue forming the arancini balls and then I'll show you the next step. Now here I have two different sizes of arancini balls so you can make them as big or as small as you like. Now for the next step, once I have the rice balls formed, I'm going to roll them into the egg wash. And once I've rolled them in the egg wash, I'm going to roll them in the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan cheese. Now, once I have them rolled in the breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese, I'm going to place them back on the baking sheet. The arancini balls are ready. What I'm going to do is place them in the refrigerator for one hour. You can even pre-make these and make them the night before and fry them the next day. Now for the final step, I have here hot vegetable oil, about 350 degrees. 
I have the rice balls and a baking tray with some paper towel. And we're going to start frying them. The oil is at 350 degrees and you want to be very careful when you're placing the arancini balls as the oil is really hot. And I'm going to fry them for about five to six minutes or until I get a nice golden brown color. The arancini balls have been frying for about five minutes or so. Look at that nice golden color, crispy on the outside. And once they're ready, I just place them onto the paper towel. And there you have it. The arancini rice balls are ready to be served. Now, of course, I'm going to show you what it looks like inside. I'm going to break into it. Nice and hot. You have the meat and the cheese. Look at that perfection. It tastes so good. Look at that cheese. These arancini balls are absolutely delicious. And that's how I make my recipe for arancini balls. And I have one here which is still hot. Now, my husband, who's Italian, loves these. I love them too. Um, and they're very simple to make. Great appetizer, great meal. You can have it with a side salad or a pasta. But you know what? This is great for a snack as well. So I'm gonna bite into it. Oh, they're so hot. Mmm. I don't want to burn myself, but mmm, 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 mmm. Crispy on the outside, soft and delicious on the inside. Just perfect. Everyone. I hope you all enjoyed the recipe for my arancini balls. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care.